the 1930s, we were trying to get a portion of the relief, and we got a portion of it in the early 1930s, our sisters in Tulloch. So it has been in high veneration really there for the past, since 1930. So it's an absolute privilege to give Bridget away. She gave us all so much to give her back to Kildare again today and to bring her home. This is the ancient hilltop site where Bridget uh, founded her double monastery, so it's really, really beautiful to have uh, such creative arts from people all over Ireland gathered here in this place. And of course, Bridget was a shepherd, so looked after uh, sheep and the curra, uh, so the idea of uh, natural Irish wool coming back home to her ancient home is a really strong theme as well. from our old manuscripts like the Book of Kells, the Book of Durham, and from some of our treasures in the National Museum, like the, the Ardrath Chalice design, and I used the Broiter boat in another one with the story of the sunbeam, and then also all the decorated capitals and letters that you would see in, in our old manuscripts, the way the monks and the scribes uh, spent hours doing the detail and the illumination, and that's what I absolutely love. So I'm delighted to have it finished. A bit nervous, but, but delighted to have it finished for today. Mm -hmm.